To create a new project, I'm going to, from the welcome screen, select the new project option. And here we can now give the project a name. And we have the options of either dragging the files, browsing for files, or browsing for the actual folder itself. I'm going to just click and drag a folder that contains the data that I want to process. And you can see here the number of swaths that have been collected. This was collected with the Miro Compact. And I'm just going to go ahead and select the Import Files option in the bottom right. The data will now be uh, imported and there will be a list of filters applied to this imported data as it's imported. This list will depend on the instrument that you used and the project type. We can come back to these and select, deselect, or change the parameters in the next session. So the import time will really depend on the size of the project um, and also the processing power of the PC that's been used for the processing. So we'll just give this a minute to um, import the data. Once the data is imported, it will be displayed uh, in the time slice fashion in this 3D view. So there we see the data has been imported. And it's automatically selected the pond view and also the top of view options. I'm going to deselect the top of view and pond view for now just to create the grayscales. You'll also see here that there's no interpolation between the swaths that will be covered in the next video. So back to the filter list then. In the next video, we'll discuss the different filter options and parameters and, and how to apply these different filters.